Hello friends, good afternoon to all of you. So I am back with another video on sociology optional subject for UPSC CSC mains examination. In this video, we are going to cover the geographical spread of subsection and the tribal communities in India. So friend, please do this years. It will really motivate me to continue this awesome course. Comment and like the video and ask any doubt if you have and hit the subscription button below the video as hard as you can. So friend, as you know that we are covering slot 2 autonomous topics. We have already covered introducing Indian society and in this video we are going tribal com covering tribal communities in India geographical spread we have already covered definition problems so in this video I am giving you a question on the basically definition uh, problems or which came from the definitional problems of tribal communities in India which is covered in the last video so please check out the last video and then attempt the question that I, I have asked in this video in the last so first we are going to cover geographical spread basically the custom and tradition of tribal communities are so rich and fascinating and many anthropologists like english and german were drawn to study the life of these indigenous people then there are several scholars like thurston hutton to mention a few have uh, made elaborate el studies and have created a treasure house of information a publication by Paula Muni Lakara in 2000 entitled Tribal Indian Communities, India Communities, Customs and Culture gives a description of the major tribes in, in India. On the basis of racial feature, Guha considered that they belong to the following races. The first race is the proto australoid race and they have dark skin color, sunken nose and lower forehead. And the example of the tribes uh, which have these properties are Gond, Munda and Ho. Then the another section is the Mongolites and they have light skin color, head and face and uh, head and face are broad, nose bridge is very low and their eyes are slanting with a fold on the upper eyelid. And the example of these tribes are Bhutia, Naga, Khasi and Venju. And the last uh, racial features is the negrito which have dark skin color round head broad nose and fizzle hair and the examples are ong and jaravas so basically this uh, diagram shows the population distribution of tribes in india in north and northeast we have around 12.5 percent of tribal population from the whole tribal population of India, 81% of the tribal population in, in, lives in, in central India and 6.5 lives in the southern region of India. And in central India, there is a tribe which is known as Gond and it is famous for Gotur that is pre-marriage training and in this they are sent to a youth dormitory or basically a place where they will live for um, live life a pre-marriage life and from there uh, they will get the training and if they are passed so the marriage is successful otherwise that's not so on the basis of geographical distribution the tribal people are divided in five groups namely basically the first one is himalayan then middle or central indian then western indian then southern indian and then island regions and the main tribes of himalayas regions are gaddis gujars boots kindamas tharus Cookies, Mizo, Kasares, sorry for the pronunciations, and Garo and Khasi are famous for matriarchal marriage that is Ghar Jamai. And the last tribe is Nagas. Then in middle of central India we have Santals, Mundas, Urauns, Gonds, Savara, Bhuyas, Gadabas, Juang, Baigas, Korkus, Halbas. Then in Western India we have Meena, Bheels, Bublas, Dublas, Bodi, uh, Dodias, Gamets, Sayadris, Kukan, Kukanas and Jainit. Then in Southern India we have Yanadis, Kondedoras, Irua, Irulas, Malakurvas, Todas, Marates, Malapandarams and Kadars. And in the island regions we have Chariar, Kora, Tabo, Neri, Sedi, B, Balwa, Boji, Jiab, Juvai, Jarawa, Kol, Ong and Sentinels and basically these tribes in Indian islands are basically in the Andaman and Nicobar islands. So now Himalayan, I am just giving you a brief about the whole uh, sections and if you want to know more about these tribes specifically then you just 
do the google and you will know the all thing about them so i am just giving you an overview so himalayans regions comprises of jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh and tarai area of uttar pradesh assam tripura north bengal meghalaya nagaland arunachal pradesh and manipur and gujars are buffalo herders and are regarded as scheduled tribe only in himachal pradesh that lives only in himachal pradesh and lives in a large joint families then both sides spreaded over kumau himalayans kinnamas are also called as kinnars tharu lives in the southern slope of himalayas then kuki tribes the east of tripura and they are the basically paddy cultivators and mizos who are divided into several tri tribes are of mongolite stock or a mongolite race hill kacharis of the masas are a strong and vigorous race <coughs> garo belong to bodo group khansis are good farmers nagas occupied mainly the eastern part of assam and are divided into angmi ao sema lota konyak chang Ringman and Tangkul Nagas. Then in Central India, this zone basically consists of West Bengal, Bihar, Orissa, and Madhya Pradesh. Then Santhal are the largest Mundri-speaking tribe who call themselves Manji, which means village headmen. And then Orounds are the Dravida-speaking tribes of Chota Nagpur. Bumji are another branch of Mundas. And of all the Dravida-speaking tribe, Kins with a number of subdivision occupy a special position. Then Gonds are in a several millions, and they spread over a large area and have reached a fairly high standard of culture. Then Buyas are widely distributed and popular tribes, and they are mainly found in Orissa, but also in Bengal, Bihar, and MP. Then Gadabas are Munda-speaking tribe who reside in southern Orissa and northern Andhra Pradesh. Then in Western India, basically this consists of three states, namely Rajasthan, Gujarat, and Maharashtra. The main tribal communities are Mina, Bhil, in Rajasthan. Mina and Bhil are in Rajasthan. Bhil, Dubla, Dodia, Gainit, and the Sahadri group in Gujarat, and Bhil, Kokna, in Maharashtra. And Bhils are found throughout throughout the region. Then in southern India, we, uh, it consists of Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, and Kerala. And the main tribes are Gond, Koya, Yanadi, Konda, Dora in Andhra Pradesh, Irula, Mallakurvam, and Toda in the Tamil Nadu, and Marathi, Mala, Pandaram, and Kadar in Kerala. Then linguistically, the situation is far more complex, and according to a recent estimate, the tribal people speak 105 different languages and 225 subsidiary languages, and they belong to Austroasiatic family, Tibeto Chinese family, Indo European family, and Dravidian family. The great Andamanese, Andamanese number only. In two digit, that means the population of Great Andamanese are in only two digit. The Doda are in three digit and or having the population are in three digit. Hilimiri, which is in Andhra Pradesh, are in four digit, having population of four digit. There are Chenchu in five digit, that is Chenchu tribe have the population of five digit. Then Saroa considered a population of six digit, and the Gond are more than four million, and so are Santal and Beels. However, the tribal population of Northeast displays a great deal of heterogeneity and diversity. Then there are more than 100 tribal groups, groups which d have different languages, religions, and cultural patterns. So the now question as you wanted that I have put a question in all the videos so that I am starting from this video and the question in this video is what are the features that distinguish tribes from the rest of the population and if you want to know the answer of it please check out the last video that I have made on the definitional problems of tribes so please attempt this question and thank you guys for listening to me and watching this video please do three hours recommend and share so most uh, people will get bad, get benefited so share as much as you can comment and like the video and ask any doubt if you have and subscribe the video for our channel for the more videos and notifications as there are a lot of videos that are going to come thank you friends